Hello everyone. Today we will be solving uh, gate 122, one question from the thermodynamics, uh, which is uh, basically from the uh, laws of the thermodynamics and the law which we will be applying in this question uh, is the first law of the thermodynamics and we all are very aware about the laws of the thermodynamics, right? So we all have uh, studied it right from the start of our secondary school, right? So what does the uh, first law of the thermodynamics states? Right. The first law of thermodynamics states that energy can neither be created or not be destroyed in an isolated system, right? So it means that it can only be uh, transformed or changed from the one form to another form. So if you write it in the uh, numerical form here the heat transfer which is equal to the change in internal energy plus work done right uh, let me just write this would be change in internal energy which is happening right in w with the work done and q be the heat transfer right now we will read out the question and try to solve it now in the question the examiner is saying consider 1 kg of an ideal gas at 1 bar and 300 kelvin which is contained in a rigid and perfectly insulated container okay so the container whatever the examiner is asking about it's insulated the specific heat of the gas constant at the volume, at constant volume Cv uh, has been given to us. A stirrer performs 225 kg of the work on the gas and we have to assume that the container does not participate in the thermodynamic interaction and without uh, assuming that we have to calculate the final pressure of the gas in bar, right? So from the question itself, we will first of all draw the uh, diagram. Let us suppose we draw one insulated container. This is an insulated container. So this is its insulated part. Okay, one stirrer is there, right, which is rotating. Right, and it performs 225 kilojoule work. Okay, temperature has been given as 300 Kelvin. Mass the container is one, and pressure is one bar. Right. Okay, so these are the things which are uh, given to us. Apart from that, we have specific heat at constant volume, which is 750 Joule per kg inverse Kelvin inverse. Okay, so if we try to convert it into Joule, it would become 0.75 kilojoule per kg per kelvin right Ma mass is already in 1 kg p1 is given that we have written 1 bar right p2 is what we have to find and work is done on the system so it would be minus 225 of uh, kilojoule Temperature is 300 Kelvin and heat transfer would be zero because it is an insulated system, right? So now what we'll do is we'll apply first law of thermodynamics. Mm 
which states q is equal to delta u plus w q is equal to 0 mcv t2 minus t1 plus minus 2 to 5 right so now if we try to uh, put the values or solve this equation 2 to 5 would come this side it would become mass 1 kg specific heat versus change in temperature and then if we try to solve it it would become 300 plus 300 which is equal to 600 Kelvin which is the value of the T2 right so for ideal gas equation we know that PV is equal to MRT where R is the Reynolds number T is the temperature right and V is constant because it has been given so V is given then V is constant then according to thermal mix or pressure is actually proportional to the temperature and formula would become P2 by P1 is equal to T2 by T1 right which states that P2 by 1 is equal to 600 by 300 so if this cancel this out we get our P2 pressure which is 2 bar right so the right answer for this would be the final pressure of the gas would be 2 bar okay thank you